Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. But remember, you can always find us online at tarpleymusic.com. So today I have an Epiphone Casino. So this is a really great classic guitar. Started, introduced in 1961. Uh, it was used a lot in the old, kind of like British rock. So you'll see it a lot in the hands of the Beatles and Glenn Fry and Keith Richards, uh, Peter Green, and um, uh, even Howling Wolf. So very, very versatile, cool guitar. And a lot of people would look at it and think, oh, blues and jazz, but it was really used a lot for those kinds of sounds. And you even see it a similar model like Dave Gruel from the Foo Fighters will play. So these could really, really rock. So don't always think uh, those styles of music here. So, however, it is an arch top thin hollow body. Uh, now the earlier models actually had uh, spruce tops, but these are all maple now. So this is a five ply layered maple and on the back and of course this is just a natural uh, color you can also get this guitar in a, a turquoise and a vintage sunburst it's a pile ferro fretboard so real similar to rosewood uh, definitely looks just like it um, some people will say it's a little grittier it's a little different i i don't feel a whole lot of difference um, but i could i mean it's just me uh, but i do i think it, it works it's a very durable wood for fretboards it's 22 frets on this thing and uh, of course this neck uh, it feels really good. It, they call it a slim taper D. To me, it's a little thinner than a lot you'll see on these styles of guitars. It's probably why they were used for rock quite a bit because you could really bar chord and stuff on it really, really easily and uh, didn't still get, you know, even for smaller, smaller hands there. So if you have kind of smaller hands, I wouldn't worry about this neck at all. I think it'll be really, really uh, comfortable. Now the scale length is 24.75. The scale length, of course, is measurement from the nut to the, uh, the saddle here. And so most of like your strats and your tellies are 25.5. So there is about a little under an inch difference there. So that does a little feel a little bit more short scale, um, especially for tight chord playing. So it really kind of makes sense. This is a trap, uh, traditional uh, trapeze tail piece here. Now it's not really, really uncommon to see a Bigsby on these, like the uh, uh, tremolo for Bigsby and uh, even Paul, like Paul McCartney put one on his. So it's not real uncommon to see that, but generally you'll see it with the trap piece like this. These of course are dog ear P90 pickups, the classics, P uh, dog ear classics. And they are screechers. They, they sound really, really good clean. They sound really, really good when you overdrive them. Uh, and they cut very, very well. A lot of that tied up with this whole uh, maple kind of a guitar. You really can cut through a mix on this thing, which is probably why a lot of front guys like them if they're playing rhythm, because they know they can just, they don't have to really, really lay into it, it'll cut right through. And of course, there's this is the Lot Tone Tunomatic Bridge. So very, very cool guitar. Like I said, it's really, really versatile, but I tend to see a guitar like this and I instantly kind of think British rock or like the Beatles and stuff like that. So later in the in the mix, that's kind of the vibe I was going for for that particular uh, style and that. But for now, what we'll do is, of course, we'll go through the three-way switch because you have uh, one pickup, both pickups, or the back or uh, the bridge pickup. And each pickup on this guitar has its own volume and tone knob. So we will go through these pickups so you can hear them clean. Uh, and then we're gonna break that up a little bit through the uh, AC30 that we're going through so you can hear them overdriven. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, so we've heard the guitar tones on its own, but now I'd like to hear those same tones mixed with some other instruments I did earlier. Alright, hit it boys! All right, so the Epiphone Casino, I think it's a really great way to get into a guitar like this because you can get a lot of guitar for the price point. Um, it, it, just because it's been known for, you know, British rock and that kind of stuff, like you heard in the clean stuff, it can get some really nice jazz and blues tones out of it, not just rock tones. So it is pretty versatile uh, for what it is and very, very comfortable to play. And it looks really, really cool. Uh, a lot of people think that, you know, it is kind of a big body, but the way it's slim tapered like this, they're really, really comfortable to play and to stand up with because uh, they really don't weigh a whole lot because they're hollow. <laughs> so, um, and th but this, you know, it's no exception. And it's, it's a very slimmed down version of this, right? I mean, there's not a whole lot of fanciness going on. There's a very basic binding and, but that's great because you can keep uh, the price down by doing that, but you get everything that you need. You need a good solid neck with a good fingerboard. Um, you've got a really good bridge that you can get for intonation. You got great pickups. So, and that's really where that money is going for in this. So if you're interested in uh, either getting into like a kind of a hollow body style because you want to do like jazz or blues, or if you really want to get into that kind of a the hollow body overdriven rock sound, then the casino will work for that. Like I said, it's very affordable, uh, which helps that too. Now, like I said, this is the natural. There's a really cool turquoise that it comes in as well. Um, and then there is also a, uh, a burst. It's a vintage sunburst. Um, now, when I think natural, I think Beatles. I kind of think those, those guitars. And so I think they work really, really well. It's a really good looking guitar. But anyway, uh, the other thing I can't do is I can't explain completely how it's going to feel to you. There's just no way to do that in a video. So you need to come down to Tarpley and pick one up and play it. So, and uh, we have an AC30, so you can do this great combination here. This is a very well known British combination with like either a Marshall or, or a Vox amp with this. You can get that kind of a feel. Uh, and then of course you can turn around, go into another amp and get more modern overdrive sounds too. And you'll notice that this thing will We'll really pick up on all those. So I uh, hope you enjoyed listening to the casino as much, of course, as I enjoyed playing it. You can always hit like if you did. You just uh, thumbs up. And then, uh, of course, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, <sighs> got to do that. You take four seconds of your time, you find your little mouse, and you go, uh, to subscribe, and there you are, you're in, you subscribed with us, and then, of course, if you'd like to know as we drop videos, we are dropping videos every single week, we just have more and more content coming out, you can just turn on notifications, and we will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.